The sun-soaked beaches of Mexico's Gran Velas Resort have turned into a hot-button political issue back home in Canada. This after the Royal Canadian Mint paid for 11 senior executives and staff to spend three days at this all-inclusive resort last year on the heels of an international mint conference in Mexico City. The Fifth Estate revealed that since 2010, the Crown Corporation also paid for personnel to attend conferences and post-conference junkets in Australia, Thailand and Vienna. What's more, spouses of executives were also allowed to attend conferences on the Mint's dime. News of the Mint's high-flying expenses landed in question period today. CBC's uncovered yet another Conservative appointee wasting tax dollars. This time it's at the Canadian Mint. Finance Minister Joe Oliver now says spousal travel and trips to post-conference events are no longer permitted. It has a responsibility to assure public funds are managed properly and in the best interest of taxpayers. But the real question may be what took the Harper government so long to act. Back in 2005, when Stephen Harper was leader of the opposition, he was outraged by the expenses of David Dingwall, then president of the Mint, who was appointed by the Liberal government of the day. Uh, will the Prime Minister now do the right thing and ask the Auditor General to do a thorough investigation? Dingwall was cleared of any wrongdoing, but this wasn't the end of the Mint's political problems. After Harper took office, Toronto tax lawyer Jim Love was appointed to oversee the Mint. In 2010, Love flew executive class with his wife to a conference in Australia, followed by a three-day post-conference trip. The program included stays in five-star hotels, a day trip to the Great Barrier Reef and dinner at a crocodile farm. Two years later, Love took his wife to a Mint conference and post-conference trip in Vienna. He billed the Mint. $44,566 for the two trips. We contacted Love, but he refused an on-camera interview to explain his expenses at the Mint. The finance minister promises this kind of spending spree won't happen again at the Mint now that the expense policy has been changed. But the timing of this revelation couldn't be worse as the Harper government tries to put the Senate expense scandal behind it and prepare for a fall election. Mark Kelly, CBC News, Toronto.